is a uh, Akampa. Please come forward.
5862. 5862. I chief ADMD 138. John Upan Ode 21. Professor Nyong Eyo. 102. Total accredited voters 6174. Total vote cast 6151. Total valid vote. 6151. <coughs> Invalid vote, nil. Do you have any question for him? No problem. No I'm 
Oh, we can do No, we are interested. Okay. Okay. Professor Obasi. Invalid votes, zero two. Invalid, zero two. A summary of votes called by the candidates are as follows: Pastor Usani, U Usani, zero three. <laughs> Senator John Owan Eno, six six. Zero zero. Oh, okay. High Chief Adam Duke. Zero six. John Juan Ode. Zero one. <laughs> Professor Young Ayo. Zero five. <laughs> Thank you. 
sa me belle compte. Je vais refuser la forêt comme le cas dans le 15 ans. Total Mumbaro, à de vote. 6,276. 76. Total number of vote cast. 6,276. Are Total number of invalid votes. Two. The summary is as follows. Pastor Usani Uguru Usani, 23. Senator John Owanenyo. 6,076. John, Opan Ode, 21.
Nabara Balin was kissed out for the night. Detail is all. Detail is all. Pastor Usali, Ebrusali, 12. Senator John Owen Enoch, 6,450. <laughs> 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 Please, if you ask questions, 
John who found only 567 points. And Professor Ian Taylor scored 199 points.
Chicago's
gentlemen. Uh, the Honorable Commissioner of Police, the DSS Director, Civil Defense, uh, Army Commandant, and all heads of security organizations here present, members of the press, executives of our great party, the All Progressives Congress, both at world, state, and national levels. Ladies and gentlemen here present, good morning. My name is Ali Mohammed Magashi, and I am the chairman of the APC gubernatorial primary elections that held today in Cross River State. Seated with me are my colleagues, the secretary of the committee, Honorable Abida Kuromotayo, Mr. George Izua, Mr. Tom Zakari, Barista Nat Ngozi Keocha, Barista Ayodele Akinsoya, and we have been here now for the last 48 hours going through the process of conducting this election. And this process has now come to its finality. As you all know, this is a family affair. It is an exercise that is to bring out one person that will represent our family, the All Progressive Congress, in the next coming national election for the governor of Cross River State early next year. I would like our party members to please understand and be reminded that this is a family affair. And as a family, whoever emerges, the internal battle is ready. The whole family should come together and prepare for the war that we're about to face with the rest of the parties. In an election process like this, where there are many candidates, only one can emerge. And it is not a matter of victor and vanquished. It is just a matter of victory for all. When we have it at the back of our mind that the war we're about to face with the other parties early next year. Our objective is to make our own party to be the victor of this part, of this process. And until we unite ourselves as the groom that we are and be tied together with all our resources and prepare for the battle. As I said earlier, this process started yesterday. We reached out as much as we could. We started with the security organizations, all the heads of security organizations. I would like to say a big thank you to them for the kind of cooperation they have given us to see to it that this exercise held in a very safe atmosphere. To our umpire, the resident electoral commissioner, we also say thank you to you and your team for monitoring this process all the way through. 
to the members of the press, you have been wonderful. Keeping you this late, I know, is a great sacrifice. To the rest of members of our party, I say a big thank you to you for the orderly behavior and the atmosphere that you created for this process to happen so successfully. Today, the 1st of October, well, we're already on the 2nd of October. On the 30th of October, we started this process. And yesterday, the 1st of October, the voting process started. And this process was monitored by INEC all through all the elections at the world, to the coalition at the local government, to what we're doing here today. So again, to INEC, I say a big thank you. To the police, to the DSS, to the civil defense, to the Nigerian army, and to all security organizations, again, I say a big thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the big moment has come. The election has taken place and the results have been collated. What we have in front of us here today is a total number of accredited voters of 106,000 212, 106.212. The total number of valid votes were 101095, The total number of invalid votes are 117,117. The total number of votes cast are 101,212. The results, therefore, go as follows. Pastor Osani Uguru Osani, 1,778 votes. Pastor Usani Uguru Usani, 1,778 votes. John Upan Ode, 3,892 votes. John Upan Ode, 3,892 votes. Professor Inyo Eyo, 5,786 votes. Professor Inyo Eyo, 5,786 votes. High Chief Adam Duke, 7,000 367 votes. High Chief Adam Duke, 7,367 votes. Senator John Oaneno, 82,200. <laughs> Senator John Owen Eno, 82,272 votes. By the powers conferred 
on me by the National Working Committee of our great party, the All Progressives Congress. I, Ali Mohammed Magashi, in my capacity as the chairman of the gubernatorial primary elections in Cross River State today, having compiled the words and local government's results, I announce that Senator John Owen Eno is declared winner of this election. Senator John Owen Eno is declared winner of this election. John Owen Eno as the winner and candidate of our party. Now, ladies and gentlemen, especially members of our party, this is just the, the new beginning. We have finished our internal battles. Now it is time to sit and prepare for the war which is the election against the other parties. I would like to call on all of us, both candidates and supporters, to please see ourselves as a family and support the winner so that we can get our acts together and God willing be coming back to swear him in as the next governor of Cross Rivers. I thank you very much all for your patience, perseverance, contributions throughout this process. Again, I thank the press, I thank the security organizations, and I say thank you Gives, to you all. Good night. How do you feel? I know you are Well, I mean, I feel happy. We've been done after the long drawn um, primary process in the Rachel Arbor, right? So it's, it's quite, it's delighting. process wasn't as thorough, it wouldn't take us as long to get to this point. This is a process that started on the 30th, and this is when results are being announced. That in itself is an indication of the, the, the extent of our state, the fact, for example, that from here to the last little government, it will take about eight or nine hours. What this means, for example, is that the proper thing was done. Materials were taken to every ward in Cross River State, and elections conducted and the winner has emerged. So anybody who thinks otherwise is just a display of the typical Nigerian tendency that when people run an election, they don't think that anybody should win. Everyone cannot win at the same time. Somebody must win. You know, so having said so, I think, for example, that this is a time for us to be, get ourselves back together. It's not a time for me to dismiss anyone. And therefore, I think that as, you know, as quickly as the next day, I need to set in place in motion to get across to all those who are elections in here and to appeal to them that our party is more important than anybody else's interest. The second thing is that, I mean, you know, nobody has any control over anybody who decides to be mischievous. I think that it was a shameful act. I mean, I think that, and you are all gentlemen and women of the press, and you've watched all this happen. You know, it's, um, it's um, I'm not too sure there is any other Congress 
in a direct primary that has taken place in Cross River State, more than the one that I just announced to you. you know, so it's, um, it's um, if you even compare, the person who announced a winner of whatever Congress that they said held is somebody from Cross River State who took part, you know, who wanted to be national vice chairman of our zone at the national at the last convention of the APC. You know, so I mean, you know, you know if you go to the national conference of, of the party, the seven member panel sent to every state. There's nobody from that state in that panel. You know, so that in itself makes what they what whatever you heard happen laughable. And I think that you know, in the course of the practice of democracy, I think that you know, you know, acts like that are acts that 20 years in the practice of democracy. I mean, we should become we should be better than what that's not what we are. What, what do you say about what do you say about you? What's your take on Zoni? I don't think we're talking about Zoni now. A winner has emerged for this party. And I think that we, we can't go back on that. I think that the electorate have spoken. I think that the, the, the total number of our presidential voters is more than 100,000. And I got close to 90,000. So you find 90,000 APC members in Cross River State endorsing me as candidate. We can't be talking about Zoni now. Oh! The state faces an unusual situation. And what the party members have done is to respond to that unusualness and to present someone that they think the party needs at this point. In time. The type of days you can dislodge the incumbents? Yeah. The public, the cross river public, not just the APC people, have been waiting for the outcome of this. Because everyone, not just APC, even those in the PDP, right, have been part of, have, have seen the misrule that has occurred in our state. And I think everyone is yearning for change. And I think that we have an opportunity in the next few days, weeks, and months to address and to reach out to every cross -Iberian and to be able to provide that alternative that cross requires. And I think that we can win, and we will win. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.